Today we're at the V&A Museum in London and with me is Frederic Dunap, who's the CEO of Harry Winston. Nice to meet you, Maya. Hello. Nice to see you. And the reason we're here is because Harry Winston is the main sponsor of the event, Hollywood Costumes, which is taking place in London. Museums have been part of the life of Harry Winston. Harry Winston was the original jeweler to the stars starting in 19... 19- 32 uh, from its creation. In 1944, High Winston was the first jeweler bringing diamonds to the red carpet. Jennifer Jones, celebrated the best actress uh, at the Academy Awards in 1944, was, dr- you know, was wearing uh, diamonds. That was the first time, and since then, you know, the red carpet experience, the Hollywood experience has become a defining part of High Winston, and Hollywood has become High Winston, High Winston has become Hollywood. Yes, tell me about this piece here. So that's 2003, Kate Hudson wearing uh, this uh, Isidora necklace. It's inspired from the wreath um, design. A 51.94 carats yellow sapphire and this is uh, Deborah Landis uh, the guest curator of this exhibition who came to us and wanted us to to pull the pieces of 2003 and of course that one was sold so we recreated the original necklace that Kat Hudson was wearing in the film uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days the way uh, Deborah Landis the curator brought the, the faces onto the costumes there is a life there is an electricity and then she electrifies Hollywood I think yeah. amazing and it really does make the connection of Harry Winston Hollywood, yes. American glamour. Exactly. <laughs> Professor Deborah Landis has curated this exhibition and is a costume designer herself and is here to tell us the role of jewellery in film. Everything in a movie just has to feel real doesn't have to be real. So those beautiful diamond crowns and coronets and those massive jewels on Marie Antoinette, they're not really diamonds, but it's the filmmaker's responsibility to make us believers. Do her diamonds make her feel more the part? Do they? Absolutely, in the same way that when we put on real jewels, we, our entire feeling is elevated. We feel important. Real jewelry makes us feel great and like a star. That's how jewelry works in the movies. Fantastic. So jewels do make a star. I believe they do. I believe they make us feel like a star every single time. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.